Hi, and welcome to this Polaris FID tutorial video. Today I show you how to use the docking station and how to connect it to Polaris and which are the correct operational procedures. The docking station will allow you to discriminate between methane and non-methane hydrocarbons thanks to its internal oxidizing catalyst. The gas sample will uh, enter the docking station and the catalyst will oxidize all VOCs but methane. So, on the first run, the FID will give you only the methane signal. On the second run, the gas sample bypasses the catalyst and the FID will quantify the total VOCs. Polaris will automatically calculate the difference between methane and non-methane VOCs. To connect the docking station to Polaris, you need to perform some simple operation. So, first, place the analyzer on top of the docking station and use uh, the hooks to fix them. Then, you need to connect the cables on the back. So, going on the back of the instrument, there are um, three cables that need to be connected. The yellow one is uh, for uh, data transfer between the two devices and needs to be plugged in here. The power cable goes uh, from the docking station to the plug next to the blue button on the Polaris. And finally, you have uh, the heated transfer line. This heated transfer line will allow the gas to flow from the docking station to the Polaris. In order to connect the transfer line, you need to remove the inlet filter on the back of the FID by using this key that is supplied within the first maintenance kit. Be careful that the filter will be hot if the instrument is already switched on. OK, so once it's removed, you can connect the two parts like this. First, with the filter present in the heater transfer line on the top and then connecting the bottom part on the docking station. OK, so you also have uh, the power cable, which is uh, this one, and uh, can be linked in its proper uh, slot, which is uh, uh, with the red dot on it. So now the heated transfer line can be heated up at 180 degrees. There is a safety block here that keeps the cable in position. So, this plug here on the bottom of the docking station serves to power up the heated sampling line. While uh, um, here in the center of uh, the docking station you have the sample inlet for the stack gas with its dedicated filter. Here, uh, on the left bottom side, there is the power cable that will give electricity to the whole system. So, electricity to uh, docking, to Polaris, and to the sampling line. Now, I'll show you how to correctly connect the sampling line. So, first you need to screw the Svagalog connector and uh, the, first the internal PFA tube, then the external metal cylinder, which will protect the tube and prevent any bending or any problem. After this uh, is done, you can uh, take the power cable of the sampling system and plug it in uh, its uh, appropriate spot. Well, first you need to disconnect it from the the Shuko, the Shuko cable, and then put it here. Pollution Analytical Equipment. The answer to your on-site detection challenges.